In early April, Zhao Lantian, a former Chinese media personality, published articles stating that the nuclear leak on the Sino-Russian border had caused widespread panic. He criticized the Chinese government for allegedly deleting posts and concealing information related to the incident. He also mentioned the panic among residents of Shuangyashan City and the increased demand for Geiger counters in Heilongjiang. Zhao shared screenshots from the Moscow Times which reported that the region had declared a state of emergency due to the abnormally high levels of nuclear radiation. The Times attributed the cause of the leak to nuclear waste leakage during transportation. Zhao Lantian urged Heilongjiang residents to use Geiger counters to monitor the radiation levels instead of relying solely on reports from the Chinese Communist Party government. On May 2nd, Zhao tweeted that residents were fleeing due to the scare caused by the 1,600 times more than normal nuclear radiation incident. He mentioned meeting a woman from Harbin who decided to leave northeast China with her family after reading his tweets. He also expressed concerns about the impact of the radiation and mentioned rumors that the entire northeastern region would be uninhabitable for a century. According to Reuters, the city of Khabarovsk in Russia entered a state of emergency on April 5th due to the discovery of a nuclear radiation source with levels exceeding 1,600 times the normal value. This news triggered panic among people near the Russian border in northeastern China. Online discussions and social media posts about the seriousness of the situation ensued. Some netizens claimed that a hospital director in the region had asked for help procuring iodine tablets, suggesting a significant concern regarding the region's habitability for the next 100 years. Reports also circulated about the water in some regions of Mu Danjiang becoming undrinkable prompting residents to queue up for alternative drinking water sources. There were mixed reactions among netizens, with some expressing frustration towards the Chinese government for their perceived lack of response and transparency compared to other incidents, such as Japan's nuclear wastewater discharge.